All right, guys, so today I'm going to talk about a very important movement concept that a lot of you guys do not do. There's a lot of people who they can get 20 kill games, 24 kill games, 26 kill games. But the reason why they can't get 30 or higher is because they can't do certain moves that are going to be able to kill really good players. You might get a really good lobby that's not good at the game right these people are bots um but there's also like one or two really good teams that you don't fail to take out and then that could be the extra kills that you need for a 30 kill game like recently the first day of rebirth i hit 37 kills i just hit it um because i got a really good lobby and there was also hard people in the lobby that were difficult for me to kill but i just knew certain things in the game that they didn't that they haven't practiced and that's what i'm going to show you in this video so today i specifically want to go over countering the slide cancel all right because slide canceling is one of the number one moves to use in this game to use the peeker's advantage break the camera or just get in front of the person's line of sight faster because of the the speed at which you go like that right and then you can just go boom kill you could just kill somebody super fast with the slide cancel and really good players you know they're gonna stack uh they're gonna go around and they're gonna slide cancel on top of you right they're just gonna destroy you just like that all right and the way you want to counter this is you got to realize as soon as the person uses the peeker's advantage right they get a they get a speed boost with the slide cancel they stop at a certain point to aim their gun gather the aim assist and kill you that's what makes it so powerful um is because they go super fast at one point and then they stop all right and you got to think of the slide canceling as instead of just like oh they're going super fast around the map you got to think of it as like uh fast stop fast stop fast stop all right these people are boosting forward and then they're pausing for a brief second and they're boosting forward and then they're pausing for a brief second that's how you got to think of it all right and this is how you counter it so as soon as the person is going to boost forward then you want to be prepared to boost in another direction so that your speed matches with their stop you don't want to be at the same speed as them because then it's going to be a 50 50 and you don't want to be standing completely still because then this person coming out here is just gonna boom kill you like that all right so what i do is this is very important that you have good headphones and just good audio in this game is you want to make sure that when you hear people or when you know somebody's like about to slide cancel you're like predicting that in their mind that they're going to slide cancel around here then you use a, a slide cancel in another direction to create space so that once they stop over there you slide over here and they're going to be aiming over here and then have to recalibrate while they're standing still and then you can kill them all right so even if i wasn't in this door if i was right here and i heard somebody coming up i would just go boom shoot them like that all right even though i'm more out in the open and they're slide canceling over here like this and they can see me easier because they're going um in cover and then out of cover i would still have the advantage because in their mind right they're going fast slow stop and then aim while me as soon as they aim at my body i'm speed boosting this way with the slide cancel and what that's going to do is it's going to stop their aim and then they have to aim like this all right which is going to reduce their aim assist and reduce more of their reflexes to be able to shoot you and on top of that right i talk about how people who slide cancel they get the peekers advantage like this right so they get a quick second where they can look at you well now you're also getting peekers advantage if they're slide canceling over here and then you're boosting this way and you're able to kill them like that all right, so counter countering the slide cancel is doing another slide cancel in a different direction so that you're not caught standing still. When they do catch you, you're in a moving position and you have the advantage because you're going to boost in a different direction to kill them. Another thing to keep in mind with this as well is you want to make sure that you are generating a lot of space with this. All right, so if you're having a lot of space, if someone's sliding over here, I want to swing outward like this so that I have enough space for me to aim and shoot the person. If I go super close, 
Sometimes it is really good because if you slide this way, you can destroy their camera and a super easy kill like that is very fun to do, very flashy. Um, but there are some times, especially if you use like a really low sensitivity, where you might accidentally slide into the person and then it's just going to be like a 50-50 that way because you guys are just touching each other instead of going around them or instead of generating space over here. Alright, so you want to be very spacey with your slide cancels. Um, and the best way to cancel it is to use another slide cancel with the peekers advantage. Just use it in a different direction. Alright, don't uh, copy their movement or just try to do um, anything that involves them having you in their sights all right now i am going to explain this with uh the final kill that i did get on my 37 game right so i'm going to pull that up now all right so here i'm just pulling up like the final kill where i used this really good to kill the last person in the game i did feel like i really had this kill it was super easy for me but i just wanted to make sure i had the best advantage as possible to be able to kill this person uh so right here this guy knows i'm down below i know he's up there um so i'm being a little bit cautious and then I hear him in that direction, right? Because really good headphones, really good audio. Boom, he's right there. Um, the mantle was a little slow, so he probably could have got more hits off me. Boom, but I know exactly where he's at. And then I got to kind of play like the healing game and make sure he doesn't push me. And he's not pushing me, right? Because I don't hear him running closer. And then here, this is where I start to set up for the counter slide cancel, right? So I'm going to go to the right direction so I can cut off his line of sight. And then in my mind, I'm like, okay, if he's a good player, what he's going to do is he's going to slide cancel to get the peeker's advantage, push me right here, and then shoot me. He would have the advantage, right? He would have the advantage. I hear him running. Um, Here, I did kind of make of a... I did kind of make a mistake because I slid on this ledge right here instead of sliding around. Um, and that is mainly because it took me out of the sliding animation a little bit. So you can see right here, I like slid out of it a tiny bit when I shouldn't have. But if I slid around, it would have been a lot more smoother. And I probably would have got like two more shots extra before he shot me once. All right. But um, that was just the sliding portion. Now going back again to the same spot. So I know he's going to push me. I know he's going to do that. And like I said uh, earlier, he's going to slide cancel, get the peeker's advantage. But when he's stopping my movement, I'm going around him. So I'm countering him because when he's stopping his movement, right? He stops it like right here. It stops. I'm moving towards the left direction while he's like coming over here. So we're like crossing each other. So I'm using his momentum against him. I'm using his speed and pushing it in a different direction to set me up for the shot. And he can't kill me right there. So I'm going to play it one more time. All right. So setting myself up, putting myself at an angle and then going in the opposite angle. And then killing him right there. I only lost one plate, but I probably would have not lost any damage if I did time it better right there. So uh, that was a really good example that I can show to get like um, to counter the slide cancel in this game. Another thing I do want to say real quick too is for the average person, the reason like I'm really making this video is because when they watch this clip, all they're seeing is, oh, it's just two people slide canceling. They're going and killing him. And, and that's all they see. But it's, it's a little bit more deeper than that. It's more about like the angle that you're positioning yourself in and you're timing it right so that you can be able to knock the person off of their aim assist, their momentum, the peeker's advantage. You're able to throw it all off just by using a specific angle to slide in this game and timing it with what I predict he's going to do at a certain time. All right, so that is the counter slide cancel. That is how you uh, counter it in this game. So if there's a lot of really good players who are just slide canceling all over the place and it's obvious that they should go around a certain corner because that's the smart thing to do if you just spread out your movement and angle your slide in a different direction you're going to catch them off guard you're going to get the peekers advantage and they're going to be stuck in one motion that they can't control because it's already too late and you're going to get kills off of that so that is how you kill a lot of really good players in this game and i hope this at least like breaks this down uh and helps you guys a lot so that you guys can you know be able to use slide cancels at the right time instead of just spamming it over and over um and not actually progressing in your kills in this game. Also, I do want to say, um, I have been playing, you know, both Rebirth and Ranked. 
so let me know what you guys want to see more if you want to see just more rebirth gameplays if i'm just dropping like crazy 30s or if you see ranked where like i'm not dropping like crazy 30 bombs but i'm getting a lot of kills wins and it's just more of a harder environment instead of just trying to farm for an easy lobby by playing 20 games in a row and then i have one game that just hits 37 all right so uh yeah let me know what you guys want don't forget to join the community discord in case you guys want to get coached in warzone or you just want to connect with the community um and i am live on twitch.tv slash the underscore fifth underscore seal when i do stream
the snipe. Oh shit! Uh oh, he just take off my. Yeah, shoot, shoot.
can't, bro. I'm trying. Out of here. Oh, yeah, one, two, three.